Good morning. Um, coming around the table. It's early Saturday morning and I couldn't wait to open the kiln and show everybody the pumpkins from pumpkin class. So um, we glazed on Thursday night and then as soon as everything was dry, I put it in the kiln and we fired it up and it cooled down all day yesterday. And it's just barely ready to open the kiln this morning. So here we go, let's see what we got. A um, Couple new experiments, a lot of artistic ability in here. Um, a lot of variation because everybody's imagination is so different. So um, there is another pumpkin class, it is full, but I will be making more pumpkins available for sale. If you happen to see something that you cannot live without, just let me know. Okay, let's get it going. Right. Okay, um, we have a couple of gnomes in here from another project. So these, oh, it's a little pirate gnome. That came out good. It's got sparkles on the top. I think it's very piratey. Yeah. Mission accomplished on that. We've got another gnome. This is a little sea gnome and it's got little um, like mermaid texture wings. Um, it's got corals on the hat. That came out really cool. The, um, the body's a really matte color. It's called lemon meringue and I think that was a perfect choice for that one. All right, Anna, here's your pumpkin. Good job. I think you nailed it. Um, got good color variation. It held up in the fire. So pretty sure that's what you were going for. All right, oh, whew. So this one is mirror black and it really just looks like metal that came out perfect. Um, and I was scared to death that it was gonna be super runny and stick to my shelf, but it didn't, it held up. It was really actually very stable and I was surprised. So that's cool. Yeah, I could totally see my reflection. That's cool. Let's see. This one is Katie's pumpkin. Good job, you did awesome on making those lines nice and sharp. So, um, yeah, and then the, the stem, we got, I think you nailed that too. Got that nice dark um, in the grooves and then just a little color on the top. Mallory's pumpkin, just a classic orange and green, did good. You too stayed in the lines. Good job, Mallory. Mm -hmm. All right, Sarah's pumpkin. We went with black and smoky Merlot in the lines and then a nice matte green stem. So it's a good contrast between the shiny and the matte. So good job. All right, we got a mug stuck to the shelf a little bit, gosh. Okay, so this is the Ann Tears um, glaze and I just I really like it because it gives so much color variation, but boy, is it runny because I did not have, I stopped the glaze like way up here and it still ran down and stuck to the shelf. So, um, but it came off, so that's good. It's testing that on a new clay body. So we'll see, um, I'll leave that for a few days and just see if, um, if the glaze crackles or starts to dunt, which is basically um, like peel away from the uh, clay body. So yeah, now I gotta grind that off, yay. shelf. All right, so as part of the special gnome project that we had going on, um, 
We've got a couple of mushrooms and I put these on cookies because I just didn't know how it was gonna go, which is a good thing that I did because it's very stuck right there. So uh, they might just be taking this cookie home because I'm a little nervous about peeling it off and busting the bottom of this mushroom, but that, that came out so cool. We did um, cheetah, which is actually a low fire glaze on the bottom because we wanted it to be really runny. And then we did the lemon meringue again on the top. So that looks really cool. Another mushroom. Okay, this one came off the cookie. And I think it was Shino on the bottom and matte white on the top, I think. It was glazed like three weeks ago, so honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> but that came out cool. Those will look awesome in the fairy garden. All right, a couple pumpkins. We got alabaster and some underglaze on the leaves. Nice, and it's got cool texture on that one. So I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, but um, I probably won't get pictures put up right away because I've got some camping I need to do. All right, we got, this is, um, I did orange underglaze and then I did a clear crackle on the top and it didn't really crackle all that much. Um, you can see a little bit over here, so I'll have to play with the crackle glaze a little bit more, but I'm really pleased with how it came out as far as colors. Um, so yeah, that'll make a nice addition to anybody's home decor. All right, we got a plate project. Um, looks like it dripped a little bit uh, underneath, so I was not expecting this. Um, yeah, still learning about this glaze, but um, the plate itself is gorgeous. So um, this kind of design just might make it into my cupboard as well. But I really like how it breaks brown at the top and then this gray blue inside. It's just, it is awesome. Okay, a couple more shelves. All right. I never remember what cubby we made. stilts are supposed to go in. I never get it white, right? So when I go to load my kiln again, I'm searching for the tall stilts and then end up finding short ones because I think I need to just relabel them. can hear my stuff pinging just a little bit so that might be because I opened the kiln when it was still just just a hair warm um, or it's the glaze not fitting to the clay body that I'm testing out so we'll see okay this is fantastic so this is a new glaze this is also a crackle and this is a patchy green and it's got a little bit of shimmer in it and the color variation oh my goodness very pleased with this one that looks so cool yeah yeah it's just i don't know it's maybe here you can see this darker spot here on the bottom i don't know if you can see the little bit of um glittery to it but or sparkle whatever you want to call that <laughs> but that's cool Woo. this is stoned denim this is another pumpkin with texture how fun is that i don't know maybe i'm just excited but um i hope you guys are just as excited as i am because this is awesome that was such a cool effect and oh, i don't know i I might have to keep this one, folks. I don't know. Woo, like it. Okay. A 
couple more pumpkins. We went with our classic gloss orange. And what did I do on the stem? That is manganese wash. And then I've got just underglaze on the curly cue there. Orange gloss. Okay. This one, what is this one? I don't remember what this one is, to be honest. <laughs> I think I did a patchy green on the stem, but I don't remember what I did, but it looks super cool. Um, it might be lava rock, I'm not sure. I'll have to find my notes, but um, this, it's got a little shimmer to it also. It's, oh, I know what this is. It didn't come out anything like it was supposed to. That's why I didn't know. This is supposed to be copper. Um, and because I've changed the firing schedule in my kiln, um, it cools down a little bit slower. And this particular glaze likes to cool down fast. So uh, that kind of screwed that up as far as getting copper, but it still looks really cool. So I don't think it's an epic fail, um, but yeah. All right, uh, a couple more plates. This one looks good, survived. I got another one in there, did not fare quite as well. So I'm not sure what happened, but my glaze totally bubbled up and got weird. Like, I don't even know how to explain this. Um, yeah, it's like grew warts or something. It's just really crazy, but um, I'm gonna have to research that one. I have no idea. It's like, looks like it grew some barnacles or something. It's, I don't, something's on it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. It's just, that is just really weird. All right, I know I've got one more plate in here, a couple of test tiles. Um, honestly, I don't remember what else is on the bottom shelf. All right, little, little snippets of glaze stuck on several shelves on this load. So I did not anticipate the, the plates um, being a glaze problem. So that is very interesting to me. All right, couple more pumpkins. These are little ones. And we've got, um, what is this? Cinnabar with our little green curlicue. That came out very nice. And then this one is actually glazed in the same glaze as the plates. And I've got um, the manganese wash on the stem and I wiped it back and then I put some of the manganese um, around the grooves but it didn't show up quite as well as I was anticipating but that's just a really really pretty gray that'll look great anywhere especially with those plates okay ah oh, yay first plate with no incidents <laughs> so one more plate um so we've got three out of the four that made it just fine um but yeah these just, these are awesome. Very pleased with those. And a couple of test tiles on some speckle color clay. Okay, so this one is Laguna French gray. It's a lighter gray. And then this one is Glacier. It's quite a bit more runny, so it's cool for texture. And then this one is the speckle blue-gray, the same thing that's on the plates. Um, but you can kind of see these two sort of eat up the texture on the tiles. And this one just kind of accentuates the texture. They all have the same amount, same depth of texture, uh, same pattern, everything. So you can just kind of see different glazes have with their different thicknesses and how they melt down can affect your designs so um 
that is it for the unloading of the kiln. Um, behind my phone, I've got a whole shelf full of mugs. Uh, you're not going to want to miss that unloading because there's some really fun and exciting different things in there. Um, got a few more pumpkins to glaze. I'm going to make some more pumpkins this weekend. And um, probably after that, I'll get started again on making some plates and starting on some Christmas stuff. So if anybody has any ideas, requests, reach out to me, let me know. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a wonderful weekend. Take care.